Clark was waiting for a bus ride home when he was killed by a van deputies say was trying to get away from them. It was a matter of being in the wrong place at the wrong time near the intersection of Dittmar and Manchac Friday night when the van plowed into the bus stop. Chris Sadeke spoke with friends of Rondell Brooks who set up a memorial where he died. Behind all the flowers and in front of a destroyed crash scene is a sign that says, We'll miss your jolly heart. And for the friends that will miss Rondell Brooks, that heart is all they could talk about. Caring person, had a big heart for anyone. That wasn't anything you could ask of him that he wouldn't do. It's what he did for a living at Texas Neural Rehab Center, a place that Trenise Belton says isn't as jolly a place to work anymore. The, all the kids that he worked with loved them. They loved him, and um, to, when I went to work today, several of them came to me crying. On Friday night, Brooks had just left work and was waiting on a bus ride home at this bus stop that is now held together by orange cones. That's because Travis County deputies say a man they tried to pull over took off, swerved to miss a car at this intersection, and barreled into the bus stop. Like boom, like something kind of collided. And it all ended in Dorothy Darby's backyard. He wasn't moving. He wasn't moving at all. Dorothy found Rondell lying still, and deputies would later find Charles Roberts Jr. after they say he left the scene in Dorothy's normally beautiful backyard. But the real damage can't be fixed. You know, this is just property. That was a human being. Deputies say Roberts may have been running because he had outstanding warrants for credit card abuse. For friends, it hurts even more that someone so good was caught right in the middle of something so bad. To know that's how his life was just taken away from him, it makes it so much harder to digest. But for those that pass by and see remnants of a tragedy, they'll also see the bloom. We, th we looked at the brightest flowers in the store because that will represent who Mr. Brooks was. In South Austin, Chris Sadegi, KXAN Austin News.